it's Jimmy Scroggins again, working on our Gospel Conversations training. And I want to give you an example that you can maybe follow as you try to get ready to get reps to share the Gospel of Jesus. So I'm going to show you the three circles, just the Gospel piece right now on the board. The Bible tells us that God has a design for our lives, that God cares about every aspect of our lives. That's our families, that's our personal lives, that's our choices, our money, our sex life, really everything about our life, God has a design for it. If we live according to God's design, then we have the opportunity to live in the arena of God's blessing. The problem is that all of us have a tendency to depart from God's design. When we depart from God's design, the Bible has a word for that, and the word is sin. And inevitably, when we sin against God, when we leave His design, we end up in a place that we call brokenness. Now, all of us know what brokenness feels like. It feels like emptiness. It feels like guilt. It feels like rejection. It feels like shame. It feels like regret. But when we get in this place of brokenness, we always try to fix it. So we try to maybe dive into a different relationship or try to make more money or try to become more religious. But whatever we do, we try to mitigate the pain of our brokenness. We try to escape our brokenness in some way. Now, brokenness really hurts and it feels like a terrible thing. But the truth is it's a good thing because brokenness draws our attention to the need for change in our lives. But the change that we need doesn't come from in here. The change we need comes from somewhere else. The good news is that the Bible tells us where that kind of change comes from. That kind of change comes from what's called the good news or the story of the gospel. Gospel is just the Bible word that means good news. The gospel is the story of Jesus. Jesus, who is the Son of God, who came to earth and he never departed from God's design in any way, not even one time. But Jesus was crucified on the cross for, the Bible says, the sins of the world. That's my sins and your sins. And when Jesus was hanging on the cross, God did a miracle. He took the sins of the world, our sins, and put them on Jesus. And Jesus received the punishment from God for our sins. When he'd done everything that he came to do, he said it is finished and he died. They took his body off the cross, they buried him, and three days later, Jesus was raised from the dead. The Bible says that God raised him from the dead to prove that Jesus was who he said he was, the Son of God, and that he could do what he came to do, forgive our sins and heal the broken places in our lives. The kind of change we need doesn't come from in here. The kind of change we need comes from the gospel itself. The Bible says that what we need to do when we find ourselves in brokenness is repent of our sins. In other words, change our heart, change our mind, change our direction, and believe the gospel story. That's the story of Jesus, how he was crucified for our sins and raised from the dead. The Bible says if we'll repent and believe, then Jesus will come into our lives. He'll forgive our sins and begin to heal the broken places in our lives. And then the Bible says that God will give us the opportunity to recover and pursue God's design for our lives. The cool thing about this is that we get to recover and pursue God's design from wherever we are. We don't have to turn back the past. We get to go and believe God and walk with God from right here. Now this is just the gospel piece. There's other things that you need to learn and other things that you need to rep. But I hope that this will help you as you learn to share the gospel of Jesus, turning everyday conversations into gospel conversations.